what is happening everyone have a look at this glorious resort i am in the bahamas all thanks to poker stars i'm out here playing poker with them and i've just woken up to the news that Jorginho is going to be an arsenal player now this is so interesting isn't it because to be totally frank with you i don't like it it's not that i rate Jorginho, but i think on principle chelsea should not be strengthening arsenal arsenal are on course to win the premier league chelsea should be doing everything that we can to stop Arsenal winning the Premier League. Tribalism, a simple principle. Chelsea should not be allowing Jorginho to go to Arsenal. I think that Jorginho will bring a huge quality to them as well. It isn't necessarily what he will bring on the pitch, but I've discussed this before. This Arsenal team and Mikel Arteta, they're novices. They don't know what it takes to win top tier silverware. And I've discussed many times the signing of Gabriel Jesus, the signing of Zinchenko, not only for what they bring on the pitch, but what they bring for Naus, for know-how, for acumen, for proven track records of being winners. And if you look at very particular examples, the addition of players like that has elevated the belief around Arsenal. Zinchenko against Manchester United, his reaction at the end, it was as if it were personal to him. He knew that a result like that was so important on their quest to win the Premier League. And having players like that around them is huge. So adding Jorginho, who, whatever you think of his skill set, is obviously a proven, proven winner. You know, he won, the, he won the Euros with Italy. He was pivotal in Chelsea winning the Champions League in 2020, 2021. So I am concerned that we have allowed Jorginho to go, but I think it's a very, very rare occasion that if you subtract all of my biases, if you just subtract all of the um, issues with me that I have with Chelsea selling a player to Arsenal, I actually think it's a good deal for everyone. How often does that happen in football, by the way, where everybody should be fairly happy with this deal? I think it's a great deal for Jorginho as an individual. I think he needs something like this. I think he needs a new challenge. I don't think he is conducive to the way that Graham Potter wants to play football. And I think that going to Arsenal is a fabulous opportunity for him as an individual. He may end up getting a longer contract out of it if it goes to plan than he would get at Chelsea. So I think for the individual player, it's perfect. He also manages to preserve his connections with London, which is something that he's been very keen on doing. He's fallen in love with the city, so now he doesn't have to leave London. His family can stay here and he gets to potentially win a Premier League title. The player, you can certainly understand why it works for him. For Chelsea, I think this is a really good deal. I think we're getting an awful lot of money for a player. I think it's actually additional value. I think we're getting too much money. 12 million quid, including all the add-ons, is more than Jorginho is worth to Chelsea at the moment. If you think about how long he has left on his contract, what he will bring to Chelsea on the pitch, the player that he's been to Chelsea over the past 12 months, I think that for Chelsea, this is a really good deal. And then for Arsenal. Arsenal are signing a player that I think they really need. I think that Arteta can do with a player like Jorginho and just think about how the season's going to go for Arsenal now. There are going to be moments in the season where they're clinging on. There are going to be moments in the season where they're not quite sure what they're meant to do. In terms of bringing on a player of quality, somebody who knows how to look after the ball, somebody who will guarantee you get the points if you're in a winning position, somebody who will use the dark arts of the game to their maximum in order to make sure that their team secure the points. Jorginho is perfect. Bringing Jorginho on in various occasions with 10, 15 minutes to go is exactly what Arsenal will need. Starting Jorginho, allowing maybe Xhaka to be rested, maybe uh, Thomas Partey to be rested. Bringing in a player like Jorginho is also an excellent option for Mikel Arteta. So I think it works for all parties involved. My only concern with regard to me saying that it works for Chelsea and on you know base level, it certainly does work for Chelsea. My issue, however, is if we do not replace him. As things stand, we haven't. You know, I, I, we're, we're obviously very close to Enzo Fernandez. But whether I like Jorginho or not, whether I think Jorginho is good enough to start for Chelsea, whether I want Jorginho in Chelsea's first team, it's not really the issue because he is a starter for Chelsea. He does, he does improve our team at the moment. Whether I think he should be good enough isn't the issue. As things stand, Chelsea's best midfield, Jorginho is in it. Engolo Kante is not fit. Jorginho brings a quality to the team that no other player in the squad does. So there is a part of me that is slightly concerned, but I'm choosing to go, I'm choosing to believe that Chelsea as a club would not allow this decision. They would not allow this transfer to happen. 
unless we had a ready-made replacement. Look, his limitations have always been clear. I've always made it aware, made anybody aware that would listen to me that Jorginho has huge limitations. In order to encourage him to flourish in a team, you have to play a very particular system. It doesn't allow you to be fluid in system. Jorginho needs to play in a, such a particular role that if the opposition see him in the role, you know exactly how Chelsea are going to line up. Chelsea tactically have to play a very particular way. Get the ball into his feet and you go from there. It doesn't allow you to change systems at all. So, while his limitations have always been clear, so have his qualities. And, you know, he's been part of Chelsea winning how many trophies now? Four? Four trophies, including a Champions League. Within that period, he also was integral to Roberto Mancini's team winning the Euros at Wembley. So, look, my personal opinion here is that for the advancement of the team, he has to leave. I think that since he's been in the side, I think we've been too open. And ultimately, in Premier League games, I think he's cost us points. I think on various occasions, he has been at the epicentre of why Chelsea have dropped points, potentially lost games. I mean, you think back to the game against Manchester United, he was responsible for the goal that they scored. You think back to the... He scored for Arsenal already, didn't he? Stanford Bridge. I mean, I don't know whether it actually crossed over. Yeah. He's... He's cost us many, many times. So overall, I think this is one where there is optimism. But if I were an Arsenal fan, there's one area where I would potentially suggest caution. Chelsea will always be thankful to him when he comes back to Stamford Bridge. He will always get a clap. And I think that no player has ever divided opinion like him, which I think has been unjust. Because he's been better than perhaps... He deserves, but he's also been worse than perhaps some people think. So, so I think the truth lies somewhere in the middle. But when you think about Chelsea's history of selling players to Arsenal, whether it's David Luiz, whether it's Willian, whether it's Petr Cech, Chelsea have never got it wrong on this. Arsenal actually have. You know, you know, obviously Arsenal allowed us to sign Ashley Cole. And I remember at the time, Gallas going in the other direction, the five million quid. People were saying. You've got one over on. Uh, you've got one over on uh, Chelsea there. Obviously, it didn't work out this way. So overall, I think this is a deal that works for everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. It's uh, early doors here. Let me just show you the resort. I'm playing poker today. I'm going to be live actually playing poker on the Poker Stars uh, Twitch and YouTube channels. I'm in a day two. Very very excited. So um, if you can, join me for that. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a like. Please click subscribe. And I really look forward to hearing your thoughts on my thoughts on Jorginho going to Arsenal in the comments below. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and I'll see you in a bit. Look at that. Beautiful, eh? See you soon.